So, Glenno, the big news, of course, today coming out is that you've signed a new deal with Chester Football Club. You must be absolutely pleased, and I'm, I'm sure the, the fans will, will be as well. What was it that sort of brought you to the decision to, to stay with the Blues for another year? Um, mainly, you know, I've been here for two seasons now, and um, both seasons have had to stop due to COVID. Um, so I feel like there's something to finish off here at Chester. Um, and especially with the gaffers wanting me to stay and, you know, making me captain and stuff, I want to try and lead this club to where it should really be. And um, that was a massive thing for me to stay. Definitely. And, and, and as you say, of course, it's the second season now. The season sort of ends slightly different this year, of course, with it being null and void. Uh, as the captain, I'm, I'm sure you'd have gauged the feeling. But but how are the lads? You know, everyone must be in the group, must be bitterly disappointed, but also understanding of, of the club's plight and the, and the situation throughout the league. Yeah, I mean, we came in on Tuesday um, and Jim and Jim Green and uh, Andy Morris explained it to us really. It was just the reason for stopping was mainly just for the future of this club. Um, and I think it was the right decision to stop um, in our eyes really because I know we were second in the table and the lads were buzzing and everything. But, um, you know, you've got to look at the bigger picture sometimes. And uh, I think the club have really done really well with how they've explain their reasons on social media and stuff. And of course, that, that bigger picture that, that you mentioned yourself and of course it'll be announced that Deck Weeks is staying as well. You two have, have forged up sort of quite the partnership in, in the middle of the part of the season. So you must be delighted to have him staying on as well as you. Yeah, definitely. It's massive that Deck stays. Um, like you said, I think this season me and him have played really well with each other. Um, he's been one of the best midfielders probably played with in my career. So... Um, we understand each other on the pitch and off it we've become great friends this season so I'm delighted that he's staying as well. Um, it, it's sort of been well publicised and, and we've talked about it before how much you know how important it was for you coming here and, and enjoying your football again and I'm, I'm sure that's going to be the case going forward as well. You were just recently named National League North Player of the Month and something that was talked about was um, working within the community, doing the home schooling sessions over Zoom and stuff like that. So, on and off the field, you, you, it, it's clear that you you sort of you're loving your time at Chester, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, this season's been probably my best individual season for myself, um, <laughs> which has me made other clubs have interest in me, and um, you know, it, it's got my name about winning the national uh, play of a uh, national North Player of the Month and stuff, but. Like I said, there's something to finish off here at Chester and, you know, staying with the, these two gaffers who give me the absolute freedom, um, you know, and the love for the game, it's it's massive for me to keep enjoying my football and hopefully show everyone back in the stadium if they come back, uh, what we can do next season. And, and that's something you touched on there, of course, there's, <clears throat> there's been a few moments this season, you know, I think of your goal, for example, against Curzon, the late winner, and what, what a fantastic scene that would have been for our fans winning on penalties at workshop, not having our fans there. It's been a strange sort of season in that sense, hasn't it? But it, it, obviously we don't know, and nothing's absolutely decided for next season, but how much of a boost will it be for the group to, to have the fans back in, roaring them on again next season? Oh, massive. I mean, I was speaking to... Grandy, I think it was yesterday, it was a year on, wasn't it, from that Kings Lingle um, and the atmosphere that, that night was absolutely amazing with the fans in, you know, the last minute goal. So, like you said, some of the performances we've done this season um, and some of the games that we've won with the crowd there would have been extra special. But hopefully by next season starts in August time, um, most of the fans are back in and, you know, we can have a really good go together mentioned that Curzon moment, you know, that there's been a few in, in remarkable games this season, some fantastic football players. Has, has there been sort of a moment or a game that, that stood out for you this season? Um, I think was, there's been a lot of games where it stood out. You know, every time we go, we went a, a goal down, we always seem to got, get back in the game. Um, and I think that showed great character from us. Um, the Curzon game was probably one of our best games at home, along with Spennymore. Um, but then we've been unlucky in games away, you know, York away, if you look at that, I think we played really well there and we didn't get the result we wanted, uh, Gloucester away, so there's been some good good performances really that we should have really gone to win. I think the one that stands out is the Telford away, um, controlled it from minute one right to the final whistle, so, you know, again, if the away fans were there like they were the season before, um, what a game, what a, a day that would have been as well. 
and and that was another moment. I suppose you, I think um, you can almost be forgiven that that people forget that that you scored that goal against Telford, given the uh, the Anthony Dudley, the skill of the assist that that he passed it through for you. Yeah, definitely. Duds deserves all the credit for it, really, with the assist. Um, you know, it's just it's a good job I finished it off, really, because otherwise <laughs> Duds would have been angry with me. But no, it was a. Uh, like, like I think the gaffers mentioned it. I think Bernie mentioned it. Um, everyone's scoring this season. It's not just you know the strikers. Everyone putting the whole team's um, contributing with goals. So I think it's been a real team effort this season. And as you mentioned at the start, you know you've been trusted with the armband this season. And Bernie and John have talked about how you sort of lead by example. Um, how much have you enjoyed that? And how much would you enjoy doing it again next season, leading the side and and taking the armband? Oh, definitely. Really enjoyed it. Um, it's been an honour to captain Chester um, and an honour to captain the lads, really. I let Grandy, Livesey and Kev Roberts really do do all the talking. Um, but hopefully I just, you know, I try and lead by example on the ball and, you know, when we need someone in a game, I, I, hopefully I step up and um, I do all that stuff. And finally, as you, as we've talked about, you yourself, Deck, you know, hopefully the, the bulk of this squad can be kept and, and has been brilliantly assembled by the managers. What what can this group achieve next season? Um, I think we can achieve promotion, um, either by winning the league or in the playoffs. I think, you know, the, the squad we have together um, and what we've already done this season, you know, we had the toughest run of games away from home and um, playing all the top top teams and if you would have looked at the season, everyone had to come to us um, and it could have been totally different. But I think next season, you know, if we keep trying to keep most of the squad together, um, I think we can really achieve something and hopefully the fans will be allowed back in. And, uh, you know, this time next year we could be celebrating loads.